Hello everyone, myself Rahul. So today I am going to solve a problem related to strings. So the problem name is word pattern. So let's go through this problem statement. So here we are given the pattern and a string S. We have to find if S follows the particular pattern, the same pattern. So here the follow means a full match such that there is a bijection between a letter in pattern and known empty word in S. Right, so through this the things are not very clear but let's go through the example. So the pattern is A, B, B, A and the string given is dog, cat, cat and dog. Right, so what does bijection mean over here is that for a particular character in pattern there should be corresponding word in a string. So if we observe carefully the character A can correspond to dog and the character B can correspond to cat. Similarly, this third character B can also correspond to the same cat and the last character A can correspond to dog. So, for each individual character, we have a corresponding word associated. So, in that case, we have to return true. The other example is A, B, B, A and uh, the string, like basically the pattern is same but the string has changed from this to this. So, if you look here, so A corresponds to dog, B corresponds to suppose cat then again the third B will correspond to cat this is fine till now but the last A is corresponding to fish over here but the earlier A was uh, referring to dog right so it means this is not a valid uh, pattern or uh, valid uh, string so we have to return false in this case right so there is no one to one mapping as such right so let me uh, try to exam uh, explain this using an example so the first example we can take is a b b a so this is the pattern that has been given to us and suppose the string given is uh, dog space cat space cat and again space dog right so what they mean is that each individual character in the pattern this is the pattern and this string s right so a corresponds to dog so if a is corresponding to dog then b is corresponding to cat Oh, sorry cat, uh, cat and this b is also corresponding to cat this means which means it is fine so we don't need to update this data structure right so suppose we are maintaining that in a data structure and uh, this a is co again corresponding to dog which was already present inside this data structure so it is also fine so in that case we have to return true right so in the other example if instead of a b b a uh, like let's keep it same a b b a but instead of dog cat cat dog the example is dog, cat, cat and uh, fish. Right, so here A is corresponding to dog. Then comes space. Then uh, we check the second character B with cat. So B corresponds to cat. Then comes again third character. There is a space. So this B is also corresponding to cat. So B is already present inside this data structure. So we don't update that. Then this A is corresponding to fish. But A was already present inside of uh, this data structure. Let's we will decide on that like what data structure we can use. So is already A is corresponding to fish, which is not correct because it was uh, already referring to dog. So this is not correct. So we will return false in this case. Right. So how are we going to solve this problem? So the first approach, the brute force method, the most intuitive uh, method over here is can be like. Somehow we need to maintain the mapping between the character and the corresponding string associated with that. Right, so how are we going to maintain that? Using a hash map. Right, so if we create a hash map of char and string, so where the character is the key and the value is string. String as in the word and the character as in particular character in the pattern. Right, so in this hash map, so basically this is a hash map only. So like a is the character and what is the value the string that is the word a dog b cat and then comes the third character which is again b so before inserting that inside the map we will check whether this character was already present inside our uh, map or not so b was already present inside the map so we will uh, we can ignore that right and uh, before ignoring we should also check whether the second B, this B is also corresponding to the cat or not, right? So instead of cat, suppose here it was some other animal, suppose lion or any any word, right? So B was already present inside the map, but the value would have been different, cat and lion. 
so it's a contradiction so we would directly return false from that uh, condition only that place right but uh, yeah coming again to a this a then a is corresponding to dog we check whether a is present inside our map using uh, just a find operation and the value is again dog so we can uh, ignore that right so we will be returning true right so the edge case that uh, we would be missing over here is that uh, suppose um, yeah let me just figure out a case so suppose this was the case a b b a and uh, here it is dog 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 and again dog right so suppose this is the uh, string s which is given to us this is the pattern p so corresponding to a we have dog inside our map then comes b so b was not present inside the map this is the map key and value so initially we inserted a and dog then we come b and this dog right we check whether b is present inside the map or not using the key b so b is not present which means we have to insert this b right so uh, but we would be inserting this b inside the map which is not correct because uh, there has to be one to one mapping right so dog cannot be referred by two uh, characters so this is not a correct scenario <clears throat> so to overcome this what we can do is like this can be the hash map one and we can also create another hash map let's call it hash map two inside which <clears throat> the key value will pair would be there and the key would be string and the value would be character basically the reverse part of this uh, earlier map right so whenever i inserted a and dog so i can also insert dog and a over here then comes b and dog so before then comes b and dog right so b and dog so here i will check uh, whether b is present <coughs> inside the hash map one or not it is not present then also i am going to check whether dog is present inside the hash map 2 or not so it is already present which means this is not a valid scenario basically both of them has uh, need uh, has not to be present inside in any of the maps right so these two uh, maps would help us uh, basically tell us that no two uh, characters are corresponding to a similar word or two same words are not corresponding to different characters like in this case dog is being referred by a and b so if we would have been using just a single hash map then we would not have been able to solve so that's why the hash map 2 comes into picture that through which we are able to look up whether there is a character associated with that particular word right so this is one of the approaches so the time complexity over here would be the length of uh, a string length of the string Right, uh, and the space complexity is like we are using two maps so twice of what can be the maximum length of this so it can be uh, the number of unique characters present inside the pattern plus the length of the string so basically the unique characters in the pattern plus the length of the string which is s right twice that in the basically two types of that because we are maintaining two maps right so this is one of the approaches but uh, we have uh, a optimized approach to this as well like instead of using two maps can i solve this using a single map or a single data structure so the answer to this is yes because if you observe carefully in the problem it is mentioned that the pattern only contains lowercase english letters right so we can uh, take the advantage of this condition so lowercase english characters which means it will lie between a to z right the pattern characters and how many are these it is 26 right so what we can do is we can create one array so this approach is actually being used at a lot of places where there is already a condition that the string characters are going to lie between 0 to 26 as in like uh, upper cases up, uh, lowercase characters can be present so instead of a to z uh, if capital A to Z are also present then instead of 26 we can create an array size of 52 but if it is already given that it will be lowercase character so I can create an array of 26 size so indexes will be 0 to 25 so basically each index is going to represent a unique character so this is going to represent A and B, Z, C and the last index is going to denote Z 
right so what i am going to do is so suppose this is the string a b b a then comes dog dog or cat cat dog right so i go through this first character a and then check what is the values on dog and i am going to initialize all of these values suppose with spaces or any random uh, string right so corresponding to a i will find what is the index in this array how we can do that a minus this so this is going to give me the sky value of the uh, sky value of a right so i am um, so it will give me zeroth index so i will go to the zeroth index and check what is the current value so it is currently empty so i will insert dog over here then i will go to b corresponding to that the index will be one and i will insert cat in this uh, string array so it is a string array then again corresponding to b i will see what is the value it is cat so i will look inside my array i will see that it's already cat so i can ignore that i will go to the next pattern character corresponding to a it is dog i will go inside my array i will see what is the already existing value if it is not there right so it is already dog so i can ignore that so once i have reached the end of my pattern so it means that all the characters have been iterated over so i can ignore uh, i can return true from the uh, loop right so let's try to see what is the like, uh, how i have coded that so i have already implemented but i will try to explain what's the logic behind that so i have created a string array of 26 size and initialized all the elements of that string array with spaces right then what we need to do is so initially we are given this string right dog space cat space cat space dog so what i have done is i am creating a list of words out of that so instead of list like i can say vector in c++ so what i have done is i created a list dog cat cat and dog so that would require string parses but if you are using java then you can directly use a split function which will give you this list right so in c++ uh, to get the corresponding words out of this string i have written my while loop which uh, like if you are in an interview then the interviewer might want you to implement this functionality as well like interviewer may ask you to not use the existing stl and instead of that you have, might have to write this logic yourself right so this logic is nothing but creating a list of or the vector of uh, words in the given string given string s this one right so we have a word list associated with us now right so in one more condition i am checking over here is just that like the size of the list should be equal to the number of characters in the pattern Right, so here we can see we have four characters. So correspondingly, we will having four words over here. So if it, if it is not the case, then we have to return false. Right, so that's the basic check I am doing over here. And uh, the this for loop, I guess like I have already explained. So I am taking one uh, character in the pattern at once. So char c is equal to pattern of i. Right, and here I am checking whether I am I, I am looking for that particular character for the first time or not so if i am looking for that particular character for the first time right so here i am checking that uh, like if the value if that particular word was already present in some other index or not right so in this example a b b a and uh, oh, sorry this one a b b a dog 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 Right, so this was let me just quickly explain this example so in this vector 0 1 2 3 up to up to this 25 so in the 0th index it will be dog then comes b and this dog right so b is nothing but the first index so i can't directly insert dog in this first index why because dog was already present inside the 0th index so before inserting i am iterating over the complete uh, array of length 26 whether that particular word was already present inside the array or not it, if it was already present then uh, i need to return false right and otherwise if it was not present and then i just directly insert that particular word inside uh, in that particular index so c minus a 
would give me the index in that particular array ARR and uh, if it is not the equal like array of C minus A would give me the index value and, and it is not equal to word list of I which means I have to return false right if any of these condition is not uh, met then ultimately I am returning true which means I have reached the end of my pattern uh, string right let me run this it's already tested but still yeah runtime memory usage are fine so as you can see like runtime and memory usage are on a very uh, higher side so that's because like we are just using an extra space of 26 length instead of creating two maps that was there in the uh, first brute force approach right and uh, yeah complexity wise as well like if we look over here is the time complexity would be um, if we have the given string then we are iterating over the com complete string and uh, in the worst case for every scenario I will be doing that 26 number of times because here I am checking right in this for loop I am checking whether that particular word was already present inside in any of the uh, indices of the ARR vector or not so in the first case that will be 26 times but that would uh, rarely happen right so time complexity wise it is that and space complexity wise it is just of 26 which is constant so we can ignore that open right so we have uh, reduced the space complexity part but the time complexity still remains the same right so that's why uh, memory usage is on 83 percent level i guess yeah so i hope the solution is clear uh, so please let me know if there is a better approach to this problem or if i have made any mistakes over here or any improvements are needed so until next time take care and uh, i will see you thank you thank you